gotcha. A dramatic conclusion to one of the most exciting episodes of Dread Zone I have ever seen. Captain Starshield, the number one ranked gladiator, has been terminated by Ace Hardlight. Ace has now eliminated a record 13 contestants in the regular season. <laughs> Incoming call from the mayor of Metropolis. The <clears throat> new mayor of Metropolis. Oh, you mean, right. <laughs> uh, just a sec. Um, uh, greetings, mayor. I, no, 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 um, well, long time no see. Uh, no, uh, so Metropolis still in one piece, huh? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> greetings, captain. I see you're taking good care of my old ship. Well... She need a lot of tuning up, but I've kept her running. <laughs> of course. <laughs> anyway, I'm afraid I bring bad news. As you know, Captain Starshield disappeared over a month ago. I've just been informed that he's been killed. Oh my gosh. No. Oh, what happened? Apparently he was involved with some kind of illegal combat sport. Something called Dread Zone. We believe it was being run by this man, Gleeman Vox. He operates an underground media empire from within the Shadow Sector. The Shadow Sector? It's a lawless region of space on the fringe of the galaxy. Many other heroes have disappeared recently, and we fear that they might have met with the same fate. Ratchet, I just wanted to warn you before... Unidentified craft approaching. Uh-oh. <laughs> Lombax known as Ratchet. Um, I don't suppose you guys are here to fix the starboard engine, huh? Yeah! We've captured Subject 209, Mr. Vox. Excellent. Bring him in. Yes, sir. We caught two strays in the process. Should we terminate them? Give him collars, and see if he can get some work out of them first. Hello? Hello in there? Can you hear me? You've been unconscious for hours. You're probably a little disoriented. Uh, how many fingers am I holding up? Whoops. Uh, looks like we've got a feedback loop in the visual matrix processor. Hold still a second. How's that? Okay, now to activate your speech function. Me out of this thing, you blarg-headed frack monkey! I can barely breathe and my tail feels like it's shoved right up my... I, 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 there seems to be a problem with the speech circuitry. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll take a look at it later. Now hold still. Let's just see if I wired that teleportation circuitry right. Something you should know. I'm not a real tyrannoid. <laughs> Will you lose your lunch if you have to watch one more reality dating show? Is your blog's gone wild video scratched from overuse? Then it's time to turn that dial to something a little more dangerous. Time for some real action. It's time to blow it up! That's right, it's time for Dread Zone, the galaxy's number one uncensored, unethical, and completely underground combat sport, blasting straight at you live from the Battle Dome. And now, on pay-per-view, watch as Ratchet and Clank take on Ace Hardlight and the Exterminators! They save the galaxy three times over, but how long can they survive in the zone? Catch it live, right here, on Vox! Let's keep this quick, Vox. Oh, well, far be it from me to keep the Superstar Exterminator from his busy social schedule. <laughs> I just have one question for you. Okay, shoot. Would you like to buy an Ace Hardlight video game? How about an Ace Hardlight lunchbox? Action figures? Movie rights? Collectible trading cards? 
Ace Hardlight is the perfectly manufactured celebrity, straight from the presses of the Gleeman Vox Media Empire. So tell me, why is it that I can't give this stuff away? Well, uh... Don't answer that. Let me take a wild guess. It's because my fans can't stand Ace Hardlight! He's a pompous with the charisma of bloggy and Nazis! So, what are you saying, exactly? Zip it, Wonder Boy! The little billies and Susies of the world are spending a trillion bolts a day on worthless swag! And I'm completely cut out of the market! Either you start selling this junk, or I'll find someone who will! Now get out of my sight! I attack you with a spider tank, power level 5! I defend with level 6 lun ninjas! <laughs> Sucker! You fell right into my trap! <laughs> You're exterminated! No, 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 wait, Your reactor slapped me some skin! <laughs> That's right, kids! Exterminator trading cards are here! There's Reactor, Shellshock, the Eviscerator, and your favorite Exterminator, Ace Hardlight! Collect them all and exterminate your friends today! And now for a Vox News action update. The new season of Dread Zone is underway and on pace to break ratings records once again. This year's contestants include the notorious mafia crime boss known as Ratchet, seen here at his Mokhtar estate. And to think that other networks actually call him a hero. It's truly sad, Dallas. Other notable contestants include Ratchet's ruthless robotic accomplice, Clank. Oh, I never did like the look of him, Juanita. I'm just glad he's off the streets, Dallas. And lucky for us, the Vox All-Star Exterminator crew is headed once again by five-time grand champion Ace Hardlight. Last season, Ace shocked the galaxy by terminating a record 13 contestants, including Captain Starshield, the Brown Ranger, and Mad Monkey McKnight. Dread Zone's six trillion fans are in for some unbelievable action over the coming weeks. They certainly are, Dallas. Now, for a Vox Sports Update, Dreadzone's Extermination of the Day Award goes to Shellshock for his 360 Tomahawk finishing move on Plutonium Jones. It was a beauty, Dallas, and it marks Shellshock's third extermination of the season. At fourth, actually, the Omega Twins count as two. Good points. And we're now live with Shellshock for comments. Shellshock? <laughs> Those Omega Twins went down like wee little girly men. <laughs> yes, quite ironic, especially since they were actually teenage girls. <laughs> yeah, ironic. Hey, Juanita, are you wearing Ace Hardlight underwear? <laughs> and now for a heartwarming story in entertainment news. Courtney Gears has made a remarkable recovery. After a near-death experience last year when she was attacked by two psychotic fans. Ah, oh, poor girl. You know, you just hate to see that kind of senseless violence. It's a calling, Dallas. I'd just like to take those two creeps and... <laughs> I'm sure we all would, Juanita. And you may just get your wish because those very evildoers are about to come face to face with the mighty Shellshock. Catch it all live on Dread Zone. Tonight on Vox, it's a very special episode of Dread Zone. Planet Stygia. It's a world ravaged by continual meteor storms. Why, if not for Stygia's powerful defense shield, the entire planet would be decimated in a matter of hours. But somebody dismantled the shield's power supply. Who would do such a horrible thing to the poor people of Stygia? I don't know, but it sure makes for good reality HB. <laughs> Stay tuned for the hottest episode of Dread Zone yet. And if you live on Stygia, the last one! <laughs> Look at those idiots cheering! Six million bolts of hardware down the drain, and those ingrates are celebrating like, like, like I won the freaking lottery! Uh, 
Remind me why I put up with these morons. Who else would watch Vox News? Temptation Asteroid? Galaxy's Funniest Decapitations? Yeah, yeah. Queer Eye for the Tyranoid? I get it! Seems we've underestimated our Lumbax friend. He got lucky. Shellshock was too slow and too stupid to be an exterminator. He should have been retired years ago. Well, he's retired now. Ratchet, however. Huh. He just may be useful. He's even more popular than you were back in your heroic youth. Come to think of it, he even reminds me of you. I said he got lucky. His luck won't last forever. In a world where dreams come bigger than life and passions run wild in the streets. <laughs> baby, I... I'm not your baby. One psychotic killing machine dare to reach for the stars. This holiday season, Vox Entertainment brings you the heartwarming true story of one exterminator's rise to glory. From lowly beginnings as a high school math teacher. But, but, but baby, I'm giving these kids the gift of learning. You're pathetic. Get out of my sight. To spectacular success as a homicidal sports superstar. We're rich. I love you, Reactor. I was always there for you. Share the dream. Live the legend of Reactor. <laughs> Kids across the galaxy know that wearing the right pajamas can give you superpowers. I'm Gamatron. My eyes shoot laser beams. <laughs> oh, I'm Reactor. I can eat metal. Oh! I'm Battlehawk. I can fly. Oh! <laughs> oh, I love that part. Uh, sir, we have the latest sales figures. And yeah, what's the bottom line? Um, Nobody is buying the new Ace Hardlight merchandise. In fact, sales are down across the board except for fuzzy Lombax ears. We sell those? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, they're an accessory for the Tiny Tots Assault Weapons Kit. Well, you've obviously made some sort of idiotic mistake. Report to B-level for disintegration. Yes, sir. Wait! Sir? On your way there, tell the lab to set up a focus test. Find out why this stuff isn't selling. I'll get right on that, sir. Subject 135. Choose one of the following items. A Courtney Gears musical lunchbox, a talking secret agent clank bobblehead, or this super cool ace hardlight action figure with kung fu grip! Wow! Ouch! Hey, what's a big idea? Subject 136. Choose one of- Oh, Courtney Gears! Subject 137. Wouldn't you like to play with an Ace Hardlight action figure? All the cool kids are doing it. Yeah, whatever. That guy's a tool. Uh, yeah. So if uh, Ace is uh, a, a, a tool, whose action figure would you rather have? Huh? I don't know. Maybe that Lombax guy who smoked Reactor. He was like, Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Ow! Mom! Subject 138. Last week, we saw the spectacular deaths of leading contestants Agent Bizarro, Plasma Woman, and Orange Comet. Now, the low-seeded Lombax, known as Ratchet, has surged to the top of the Dread Zone rankings. Frankly, I can't believe the little furball made it this far, Juanita. He is a scrappy sucker, huh, isn't he? He certainly is, Dallas. He's also a threat to children, endangered species, and common decency. Well, kids and dolphins and whatnot will be able to breathe a little easier once Ratchet has been cut down to size by the Eviscerator in this week's Exterminator Smackdown! No opponent has survived even 60 seconds against his razor-sharp titanium blades. Hmm, I'll bet he doesn't have any trouble getting a close shave, Juanita. <laughs> you get it? Shut up, Dallas. You're not that funny. 
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to, uh, to the final episode of Dread Zone. Oh, God! We're all gonna die! Uh, um, the mood is positively electric as the audience braces to find out if they will survive the next ten minutes. I can't believe I'm reading this. I had my whole life ahead of me. I was gonna be a ballet dancer. Pull yourself together, you blabbering idiot! Oh, thank you, Juanita. Superstar contestant Ratchet faces his toughest challenge yet to deactivate the Battle Dome's formidable defense systems and defeat Gleeman Vox himself. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Ratchet for being such a great role model and a pillar of our community. If anybody can save us, it's you, Ratchet! We're rooting for you, little buddy. The new armor you're wearing is standard issue for new contestants. Contestants? We will explain later. If you do not complete the qualification course in the allotted time, we will all be terminated. Shellshock, Reactor, and now Eviscerator! Cut down in their prime! Victims of that loathsome little Lombax. But just who is this Ratchet? Our Vox News investigation has uncovered shocking untold stories from his dark, sinister, evil past. The destruction of civic property, illegal hoverby gangs, Inadequate dental hygiene. Oh, be strong, Juanita. Because there is one man that can put an end to this menace. Ace Hardlight. Ace Hardlight fans, prepare yourselves. I'm gonna make this one messy. We'll see who the real hero is. When I'm through with that furry freak, nobody's even gonna remember who he was. Thank you, Ace. The galaxy is rooting for you. We're all rooting for you. Thanks, babe. You wanna see me, Vox? <laughs> My boy, you're the grand champion of Dreadzone. The whole galaxy wants to see you. Don't you see, kid? I've been doing everything in my power to make you a star! I've transformed you from a worthless nobody into the hottest celebrity in the galaxy. Right. So that's why your news show is slandering me every six seconds. Slandering? What? I was building up your bad boy image! <laughs> and this is the thanks I get. Whatever. Now, now, don't be such a baby. I'm about to offer you the opportunity of a thousand lifetimes. I'm making you the new captain of the Exterminators. The star of the show. Think of it. We'll make billions. We'll sell Ratchet action figures, Ratchet sports shoes, Ratchet deodorant, Ratchet breakfast cereal, earmuffs and cologne, soft drinks, hard drinks, energy drinks, breath mints. <laughs> you get record deals, movie rights, reality shows, video games, and... Commercials, 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 commercials! <laughs> and then... And then uh, no deal, Vox. What did you say? I'm not your puppet, Vox. You actually think I'd kill other heroes to get rich? You're not just corrupt, you're stupid. Why you... You just signed your own death warrant. So we're done then. Let him go. Yes, sir? We're gonna need one final Dread Zone campaign. Have them prepare that, um, experimental one we developed. Sir, you don't mean the Gauntlet of Doom, do you? Yes. Uh, but, sir, it was mathematically proven to be unbeatable. Um. Right away, sir. My friends, it is a black day for Dread Zone fans across the galaxy. Ace Hardlight, champion exterminator and respected philanthropist, was brutally cut down by the maniac contestant known as Ratchet, a.k.a. the Butcher of Bogon. Fans reacted to Ace's defeat with shock and outrage. <laughs> Boo, we hate you, Ratchet. You cheated. Ratchet is a malicious criminal. He must be punished. 
Bowing to public pressure, Gleam and Vox acted quickly to address the issue. Fans of Dreadzone, I share your pain for the loss of the mighty Ace Hardlight. I encourage you all to express your grief and sympathy by purchasing this limited edition Ace Hardlight Memorial Action figure on sale now for only 299 volts. A Vox News investigation later revealed that Ratchet used banned performance-enhancing drugs. In accordance with Dread Zone Regulation C6-5-9, paragraph 2, Ratchet has been sentenced to meet his fate on the Gauntlet of Doom! This special event will be broadcast live tomorrow night only on Dread Zone! <laughs> it's over, Vox. No! <laughs> But it will be soon. Destruct sequence initiated. 60 seconds until battle dome detonation. The escape shuttles all left long ago. <laughs> now we'll both die together on live Holovision. <laughs> It'll be the best ratings I've ever had. Even if I don't make it out of here alive, at least a lot of other heroes escape tonight. <laughs> Enjoy your pathetic idealism <laughs> for the last few seconds of your life. What? Get in, Ratchet. There is no time remaining. Just a sec. <laughs> Hold still, Ratchet. Whoa! <laughs> Check out that explosion! That was awesome! <laughs> Let's do it again! Move! It's my turn to look! No, it's my turn, you little brats! Get out of here! Don't you know how to respect your elders, hmm? Get out! Did you see what she just... Ah! Ah! <laughs> what? This was the last shuttle. What else could I do? Hey, I fixed the comlink. We've got incoming calls. Ratchet, Clank. Hey, it's Kid Nova. What can I say? I thought I was a goner back there. I owe you guys big time. Hey, Ratchet. It's Hydra Girl. If you're ever back in Aquatos, promise you look me up, okay? Ah, well, uh, Aquatos is nice this time of year. Well, why not? More calls coming in! Ratchet, Glank, it's me, Captain Quark. There's a nasty rumor going around about heroes being kidnapped. But don't worry, it's baloney! I mean, come on, nobody came to capture me, right? Just imagine making a show about galactic heroes without Captain Quark! Ha! Well, anyway, you guys missed the last three meetings of the Quark Cadets fan club. Well, don't worry. I've got extra copies of the newsletter, and I even saved some of the snacks. Hope you like custard. Lawrence! What's going on? You said we were coming within range of a space station! Well, we were, sir. How was I to know it would suddenly explode? Oh, Janice. It's been so long. Too long. Say you'll never leave me again for that nasty villain, Engelbert. Oh, man! Say what? <laughs>